Welcome to Brain Stuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, Brain Stuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. During party conversation or at a trivia night, you may have heard the fun little fact that humans and bananas share 50 or even 60% of the same DNA. There seems to be a lot of differences, though, between a person and a piece of yellow fruit, starting with the fact that one is an animal and the other is a plant. But actually, there is some truth to that startling statistic. But it's not the whole truth. This urban legend of sorts likely originated from a program run by the National Human Genome Research Institute back in 2013, although similar data may have been run elsewhere. Genetics expert Dr. Lawrence Brody and his colleagues generated some banana human information to be included as part of an educational Smithsonian Museum of Natural History video called The Animated Genome. That video noted that DNA between a human and a banana is 41% similar. So, in order to find out how this similarity was determined, we talked with Dr. Brody himself. He explained that, first, it's important to understand the difference between DNA and protein products. You can think of DNA as the blueprint of a house, and protein products as the actual house, because all of the information is in there. Uh, Then, think of human DNA as the blueprint for a ranch home, and banana DNA as that of a condo. In each house, a bunch of things are similar, the plumbing, bathrooms, kitchen, but the end products are both quite different. That's how it works with humans versus just about everything else, from bananas to chimpanzees. The second thing to keep in mind is that genes, which are the regions of DNA that code for these proteins, only make up about 2% of your DNA. In order to compare humans and bananas, scientists first looked at the sequences of genes in a typical banana genome. Brody said... We then used these DNA sequences to predict the amino acid sequence of all the proteins that would be made from those genes. We then did the same process for all human genes. All of the protein sequences were placed in a file. Next, the scientists compared the protein sequence from each banana gene to every human gene. Brody said, The program compares how similar the sequence of the banana genes are to each human gene program kept any matches that were more similar than one would expect by chance. The program continued doing this gene by gene. All told, more than 4 million comparisons were done, resulting in about 7,000 best hits between the two genomes. Then, the percent similarity score for each of those hits was averaged. Brody said, This gave us the result of about 40%. This is the average similarity between proteins, gene products, not genes— Gene products or proteins are the biochemical material resulting from a gene becoming functional. Brody continued, Of course, there are many, many genes in our genome that do not have a recognizable counterpart in the banana genome and vice versa. Uh, 